Hey, what's going on everybody? Nick Sapinaro here for your Divi Project Month in Review. It has been quite an eventful month this January and I'm excited to wrap it up for you with some of the most exciting things we've accomplished. Now, if you stick around towards the end of this video, I'm actually going to announce the two new exchanges that we're listing on and some of the exciting opportunities that come as a result of those listings. So stick around till the end or just fast forward to it. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you what timestamp. So here we go. So one of the first things I want to talk about this month is what happened with sort of the Litecoin community and Bixweer and uh, Bitcoin Ben and some of the, the crazy drama that transpired across the ecosystem during the month. So first of all, I don't know what happened, but you know, you know, B Bitcoin Ben is pretty uh, gung-ho about Divi and he promotes us quite a bit on his channel, which we of course thank him for. He's a big fan and he runs a couple master nodes. He's given a bunch away too. Um, but obviously he struck a chord or a, a bad chord with some of the people uh, who were, I guess, previously in the Litecoin fam or something like that. Now, me personally, I have nothing against Litecoin. I think it's an awesome coin. Uh, Charlie Lee is obviously a genius and I would never say anything bad about them. Um, I mean, Litecoin Lisa is also a fan and we're really connected to that, to that community as well. So, um, you know, obviously things happen and as we grow as a community and as a coin, we're always going to find people that are, I guess, uh, adversarial towards, towards what we're doing. Anyway, you know, uh, some of you probably saw a couple of people came into our channel and were t t tweeting us on Twitter and arguing with us about certain things. Thankfully, we cleared it all up. And actually, a couple of those people became fans of Divi after all was said and done. It's really important that you never... Some people are just trolls, obviously, but you never want to just discount somebody because they're being aggressive or abrasive. Sometimes those people are going to end up being some of your biggest fans. And that's exactly what happened with some of those people. But then, after we settled the whole Litecoin fam debacle, uh, Bix Weir came out on his channel and he started talking about some of the um, features and, and uh, dynamics of the Divi project. He wasn't fully informed and he actually gave us a chance to come on his channel and sort of refute some of the claims that he made about the project. Jeff went on and spoke to him for an hour and we'll throw the link down at the bottom of this description. And it was amazing. I mean, by the end of the video, Bix definitely had a better understanding of what Divi's all about. And he actually did a couple more videos following that and talking about it and, and admitting that, you know, maybe he didn't have the full scope of things and all of the right information. And really that just comes down to us providing better information online. We have to think about our messaging and think about how we're promoting everything about the project. It is a complex project, so we've gone back to the drawing board and we're definitely going to try to do a better job of putting all the information out there in a way that's digestible and easy to find. So on the tech side of things, lots of great stuff is happening. Uh, right now, actually, the blockchain 2.0, if you want to call it that, we're, we're calling it the POS v3 network here at the Divi offices, if you want to call them that. Um, it's pretty much ready to roll. It's running right now. And some of the really amazing features that will be rolling out during Divi 2.0 are actually available to test right now to the public. So if you want to become a public beta tester for the blockchain, uh, the forthcoming blockchain, reach out to us. We have a whole development community dedicated to providing resources and making sure that you have all the information you need to get up and running. Some of the coolest features that you'll get to test are, of course, atomic swaps, which are fully ready. We've actually completed a couple of atomic swaps on between the Bitcoin and Divi test nets. So you get to do that, as well as the peer-to-peer -peer masternode hosting, which is a result of our new pingless masternode system, which you can read about on our blog. But short, long and short of it is basically we've enabled masternodes to uh, be signed and broadcast by other nodes in the network. Simply put, you can actually host your friend's masternode with your staking node if you wanted to. It's a really cool feature. If you're interested in testing it, come and reach out to us on telegram t.me slash Divi project. And we'll make sure that that link is in the description below. With all of the new blockchain enhancements, we'll actually be able to roll out uh, the new Mochi, Mochi 2.0 in the current desktop wallet. We're working on integrating it right now and users can expect to see that in one of the upcoming updates. I think uh, you guys will really be impressed because it turns Mochi, which is currently about like a 15 minute process. Of course, you just click the button and you kind of watch the process happen. 
So we, we've, we've really nailed it down and, and optimized it so that you click the button and that's all you have to do. You can actually go and deploy another one right away after that if you wanted to. And we have all of the infrastructure now to do everything on the back end without taking your keys and without taking your coins out of your actual wallet. So we're taking it from about a 15 minute process to for the end user about two seconds. Really excited for that. And you guys, like I said, will end up seeing that here very, very soon in one of the new desktop updates. <clears throat> Speaking of new apps, obviously everyone is super excited about Divi 2.0. Over 4,000 people have actually signed up on wallet.diviproject.org. Again, link is in the description. Definitely go to that page and see some of the new features that you will be uh, able to access when Divi 2.0 comes out. Some of the stuff that I'm most excited about are the banking features, of course. We're actually able to scan in a debit card so that you can add that if you wanted to buy uh, cryptocurrency uh, such as Bitcoin and Divi at launch. Um, you're able to set up your IBAN account, which is your international bank account number, and that allows you to send money all over the world. Swift transfers, ACH transfers, that's all gonna be right there in the app. We finalized everything with the um, technology provider down in Costa Rica, who's providing all of the APIs that make this possible. So I'm extremely excited because this was kind of like a, a big hurdle for us and kind of a, a question in our minds, like how are we gonna make the, the banking features work? Uh, and now, now we know. So it's a huge blocking issue that's unblocked, completely underway, and the infrastructure is pretty much um, ready, to, ready to be built out. So super exciting stuff there. Most of the other backend APIs are basically finished as well. We're really, really, really coming together now, especially now that Mochi 2.0, staking vaults, and atomic swaps are done, and the new testnet is pretty much working stably and seems to be pretty reliable. We're removing full steam ahead. Everything is super, super, super smooth right now and I'm extremely excited. It's really fun to watch all of these different components come together into one beautiful end user experience and I can't wait for you guys to try that. Some other fun stuff that happened over the course of January, we appeared on a bunch of top 10 and top five masternode lists, uh, but the most exciting for me was the CoinGecko rundown of the year. We were the top fifth uh, masternode in the world, and we were the top one growth masternode in the world, uh, meaning we provided the most ROI year over year for our coin holders, which is absolutely astounding, and I couldn't be more ecstatic to share that with you guys. If you guys want to find that, review um, or report, I should say, uh, we'll make sure that the link is in the description below. Bunch of other top 10 lists as well, and we'll make sure that you guys can read those too. So upcoming events, Anarchapulco is this month, February 13th to the 16th. You should definitely come down to Acapulco, Mexico. If you have not seen Anarchapulco before, it is an incredible event. It's not just crypto either. There's, crypto, there's a crypto element at which I'll be speaking, and we're also doing a, the same thing we did last year. It's basically a uh, family camp day for this orphanage down in Mexico called the Marsh Children's Home. We go down, we teach them some computer skills, and we actually end up giving them a bunch of computers that they can take home and use. What's so crazy is that these kids, you know, they, before, before last year, they were using one computer all 26 of these kids, I think it's 26 kids, using one computer to do their homework, lining up literally five minutes each. That's all they get to do to do, to do their homework. Last year we donated four computers. This year we'll donate probably more like 10 computers. So they'll end up with 14 or 15 computers total that they'll get to use. And not just for their homework, we're going down, we're gonna actually teach them how to make a YouTube channel, how to make videos, how to vlog and do things that can hopefully provide skills and other opportunities outside of their home. So really excited about that. And of course, there's just a ton of other stuff to do at Anarchapulco. Last year I met Ron Paul and I saw so many amazing speakers talking about volunteerism and anarchy and it's not what you think, anarchy. It's, it's, a, it's a great movement that you should definitely read into if you don't know much about it. The next upcoming event after Anarchapulco is going to be the Bitcoin Ben charity meetup in Texas. 
It's uh, his second annual one. It's a two day event. The first day is like a concert with some speakers and the second day is a big, uh, basically open event where you can, you know, they had like lassos last year and whips that you could try out. And of course there's vendors and stalls where you can p purchase food and a bunch of speakers. And I'll be speaking at that as well. If you can make it out, it's only $20 to get in and that gets you both days. So it's right in line with sort of the, my philosophy on uh, crypto events right now, like chain wise was 20 bucks to get in. It was amazing. A lot of great people came. So I think it'll be the same thing for this. So if you can make it out to that, definitely do so. We also have some community meetups coming up in uh, Ghana and we just had one in Venezuela for the first time. And so we're really trying to expand. If you want to do a community meetup in your hometown, reach out to us and we can definitely provide materials, a little bit of Divi to give away, stuff like that. Make it fun. One last thing before we get to the exchange listings, which I know everybody's on the edge of their seat to hear about. We were listed in the Polis Pay app recently over the course of the past month. And this app actually gives you the opportunity to store Divi right on your mobile phone. Um, they have a debit card of sorts for some countries. It kind of operates like a gift card where you, you load it up um, like a Visa gift card and a bunch of other amazing features. So definitely check out the Polis Pay app, use it to store some Divi and send your friends some Divi as well. All right, the moment everyone's been waiting for, exchange listings. Now, I know that everybody always is, has this question on the forefront of their mind, when exchange, right? Uh, well, we have two exchanges coming online here in the next couple of weeks. The first one is gonna be Stex. Stex is a mid-tier exchange that's doing great volume, real volume, if you actually boil down to their uh, you know, adjusted volume. It's really good liquidity, really so solid operation. They do, K they do KYC, so keep that in mind, but they are a FinCEN registered exchange, which means US customers can KYC and use the exchange legally. This was a big, big, big part of the decision-making process when we went with Stex versus some of the other options that were on the table. You got to understand too, when we go onto a new exchange, it's not like we just say, oh, thanks for listing us. I hope it goes well. There are a lot of requirements, market making, not wash trading, but actually providing liquidity books with inventory and buying power so that people who want to trade can do so. And so that the order book is thin and it makes a lot of sense for traders to actually go on and engage with the coin. It's an expensive process. You know, there are listing fees and a lot of other pieces to the puzzle that we have to consider when we do these things. So that's why we don't just blanket exchange listings. Um, the second exchange is LA token. Now LA token situation is a little bit different. It's actually a really unique situation. I had a guy come up to me at world CryptoCon and asked me, would I be down to do a, basically like a co-listing with two other coins. Now, I'd never heard this before, a co-listing. So we're actually paying a third of the exchange listing fee and we get the benefit of listing with two other large coins that their communities will see, Divi, and of course uh, our community will see them. And hopefully we get some nice synergy going. And so the other two coins are Pivx and Four, which I thought was perfect because they're both staking and masternode coins. I mean, Pivx is the, a big reason that Divi even exists. You know, we used some of their code initially. And of course, four is in the same realm. I think they're a Pivx fork too. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So I think this is gonna be an, an incredible opportunity to engage with new communities, show that we are team players. You know, I talk about all the time, the communities have to work together if we want cryptocurrency to see mass adoption. If we're always at each other's throats and, you know, getting on Twitter and being contentious with one another, we're never going to get anywhere because outsiders see that stuff and they're like, I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to, that, that seems, you know, non-welcoming. And so we want to be an inclusive community that welcomes all of their projects, even if they could be considered competitors. So I'm really excited to announce those two listings. Like I said, they'll be coming online over the next few weeks and we'll keep you updated as those things progress. And of course, that's not all. We are always, always, always working on finding new exchanges. We are, of course, applying to others as we speak right now. Really, it's a strategy though, right? 
it's not like we're a huge project that can just go straight to Binance and straight to Coinbase. Although that would be amazing, it wouldn't be good for us either because those huge exchanges have high expectations, insane requirements, and are extremely expensive. If we go on there and we're not fully prepared, like if Divi 2.0 is not out, for example, and our, and our real full product isn't fully ready for everyone in the masses to adopt, we could actually get hurt pretty badly by going on one of these big exchanges. It's actually good that we're taking a more holistic approach, grassroots community, building it up over time. And then once we're ready, we really push and make that big, big, big move. So we will eventually get to those exchanges, but we have to show our metal, basically. We have to show that we do have liquidity. We can get real traders and users onto these exchanges. And that's what those big exchanges want to see, right? a real product, a working product, and real users. And we have a lot of those right now, but in our M MVP state, I still think we have a little bit of a long way to go. Now, I know this was a big update and I know this went by pretty quickly. So I hope that you were able to consume everything and I hope that I hit on everything. I'm sure I forgot something here, but if you guys have any questions, you can always find us on Telegram, Twitter, all the social media accounts at Divi Project. And of course you can reach out to me directly by tagging me on Telegram. If you liked our video, and if you're a big fan of Divi, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it on social media, and we will see you next month.